You ready? I'm ready. Are you rolling? Rolling. Okay. All right, so we're going to lay up. I know you've seen this a thousand times. We're going to lay this guy up. The mold release, uh, the PVA is now dry. I don't think you can really even see it. You can kind of see it right here on the edge. But it's in there, and it's dry. So now, uh, I guess it would be worth talking about how you mix, right? I showed a little bit before. But this is three to one. So you have to look at the instructions on your... But here we are. This is a... Uh, uh, easy mix cup So you've got your different six to one eight to one and this is 150 if you're doing that But this is a three to one so three parts of resin one part uh, Hardener, so here's your three to one and The last time I used it I used this three and this three would be three parts. This would be one part It was way too much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to here and that's how you measure it. So if you do fill it to here to here, that's three to one. Explain. So you fill the first product up yeah, to the, the two. the resin you go here. So if you wanted to do three to one, you would fill your resin up to here. And then you would fill, after it's here, it would be obviously right there. Then you fill that. Gotcha. So I thought. three okay. to one. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to get this mixed up. And then um, we'll start laying the, the fiberglass and the carbon fiber. Oh, and here's the four ounce, six ounce material, and oh, the carbon fiber for support. Oops, poor. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Looks good. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, everything Whoop. looks decent. Yeah, I just need some towels. I want to try and keep this as clean as I can so we can keep reusing this without it being a total nightmare. And what was the product that you got the lids for that's so cool? Oh, that's gallon stuff. Um, unfortunately, it won't work with these. It's like for gallon paint, but it's, they're nice. So yeah, I just try to keep that cleaned off because when you're closing it, you want to be able to keep using this container. So it's Empty. Also, those easy pour spouts are only for like gallon yeah, paint. Like a gallon, yeah. Like if we got a, a gallon, a round gallon. Gotcha. That's okay. I mean, they're nice. Um, so now you can kind of see if you look in here. Um, yep. I'm a little tiny bit over, but not bad. So you go a little um, so tiny over give, with the next yeah, product? I'm just okay. Give a little bit extra in here. And it doesn't have to be totally exact. Okay, there we go. I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be just fine. Oh, yeah. So I think it's just a tad bit over the yep. two. The only reason I don't like that is because it's, you don't use a lot of this in the, the casting process. So I'll probably even use less uh, the next time I do it. Now, this is a 60-minute epoxy. Um, and so now the most important thing, and you can see it in here, the hardener is actually a little, the yellow, the darker yellow. Mm -hmm. So you really need to mix that. They say you got to mix it for at least a minute. You really can't see any of that different. And you got to scrape the sides. It's really important or it won't harden. Stuff's very uh, particular about um, where the, how good it's mixed. So you really have to mix it. You scrape the sides, and then you can kind of see it's coming together. And here, you don't see that it's it all looks kind of yellow now. There's not that. What's the consistency? It was like it's honey. real thin. Yeah, it's pretty thin actually, and it stays this way oh, for an thin. hour. Okay. Um, if at an hour is where this starts to really harden very quickly, so you've got an hour to work, and then it. This is the most important part, though, really mixing it in. And they say you have to mix it for at least a minute. Okay. So, I, don't, I think I've probably been about a minute. And you and got all your... This is probably too much. 
but that's okay. That's okay. You could use the lower lines. You got all these products from Fiberglass, not a commercial, but Fiberglass. You, yeah. Yeah. Very pretty nice. Good company. I said that in one of the other videos when I do the video that because this company is they're great. They ship out like immediately. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of what this looks like. Now you can kind of see it's all kind of honey colored. There's not, the hardener is a darker, it gives it that dark tint because the, the resin's totally clear. Oh. So when you can see it's all, when you don't, and you, if you get this product, you'll see what I mean. The, the hardener kind of goes on top of the resin. It doesn't want to mix in. So right. I'm thinking that's about a minute. So now the way I've been doing it, I'll put a thin coat of fiberglass of the resin and hardener in here and just kind of get it going and then I'll start laying on top of it. And you just buy some like kind of okay cheap brushes because it's one yeah, use, yeah, one it's use. one use, man. You're gonna They're get garbage, it. right? And do not put too much on the sides. Less is it more because you're squeegeeing up, right? It just runs down into the bottom. Okay. And actually I found the last one. I did it the last time. It was actually stronger where the epoxy was the thinnest. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It, you wouldn't think that, but that's how it was. It was where the epoxy was the thinnest, it was super strong. And you mean more rigid? It was just strong, like oh, stronger. Strong. It didn't, it did, yeah, I guess more rigid. So epoxy doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be thick. It's just got to be enough to, to get into the... Uh, and you put the release in there? Release is in here, yeah. Everything's in. Okay. And then you just want to make sure you get a good coat on here. And then as soon as you lay the fiberglass in there, I mean, you're going to put more on there anyway. So this will also help. I also have this adhesive here to help hold on bigger parts once I start, when I do the real one, um, it'll help hold the fiberglass in the mold. And this is the first time you're using the carbon fiber and you just want to see yeah. if it increases the textile strength a lot or just... I just want to see how it works. So how it now works. Okay. we're going to take the first layer of car uh, fiberglass which will be our four, four ounce. Yeah. Oh, and do not... Oh, you almost did. Do not forget <laughs> to use, yes, I almost did, um, gloves. You gotta have gloves on because it comes... You would think you're you're uh, you're putting the fiberglass on top of it, but it soaks. It, it's real um, absorbent. It soaks right in. So it is. And when this stuff gets on your hands, it's a mess and it's nasty. And you won't get it off readily. So now we're just gonna move this out of the way. And you kind of just pre-cut it uh, an inch or two bigger on every side. Yeah, I and just then pre -cut, cut it. Cut it off the roll. Cut it off the roll. And then just try to lay it in here. See the, the 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 resin's already impregnating the, oh, yeah. the the fiberglass. So now we're just gonna kind of get it in how we want it. And this is where if you would think you could do this without getting on your hands, nope. you can't. It will it will instantly get on your hands. And this stuff is nasty. It doesn't want to come off. So you can see how it's laying nice and flat. Small part like this. I think you can really get away with and just all I try to make it all nice and flat. There we go. Now she's now she's done. Okay, so now you see how it's coming through already? Yeah. Do you squeegee now? What do you do now? Uh, I'm not gonna squeegee, I'm just gonna brush it. After I get it all in here, I'm gonna brush. Um, so what I'm gonna do is Get most of it out of the brush and now just kind of go over the places where it's a little bit much. You do need all of the fibers to be and you know it's you'll know it's good when you see the, the fiberglass all one color. Uh -huh. It'll look darker. At least that's how it looked like on the last one I did. It got it all got dark and and then you know you're... But less is more. You thought you used too much the first time, correct? Yeah. 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 And then you can kind of see it. And it'll also start really sticking to the mold, too. Once you get enough on there, 
it'll really stick to the mold. See like how it's kind of not sticking right here? That's just because there wasn't enough resin up there. Because the resin is what really sucks it into the mold. And you see, you can see how it's not, it's two colors there. Once you do enough, see how it's now getting to one color and you can, mm. you can kind of tell that. Yeah, like right here, do this spot right here. Which spot? Right oh, yeah. there. Yeah, and so that's just show your them. resin is not impregnated into the, you'll see it, how it changes. Yep. Wet look. Yeah. And if you do that, if there's a bubble in there, you just, that's what the brush is for, you just kind of hit it with the brush. This is probably harder than a bigger one, probably. stick a little better. What, did I get it on the seat? Nope. Oh, okay. Just looking. Go. That's why I was wondering if the weight of that carbon fiber is pulling yeah, it. Yeah, might be. Maybe we'll trim it real quick. Get those gloves off, we'll trim it. Oh, I still gotta put the PO ply on. Oh, oh. I could just use another pair. I got a thousand. Yeah. I got a thousand pairs of gloves. <laughs> there you go. It doesn't matter. All right. So now, what I'm gonna try and do is just get in here and cut some of this off um, to get some of the weight off of the off the mold. I don't know that it makes a difference. I don't know that it'll help at all. Can't hurt. I don't think it can hurt to try because I don't need all of this extra and then I'll throw another pair of gloves on and we'll we'll reset that after we cut this Thank you. Like I said, I don't think this will hurt it getting some of this shit off of here, getting some of this. And if you don't buy the scissors from whatever company you buy the, you got to get really special sharp scissors. 
Yeah, these scissors are no joke, man. <laughs> they're not they're not regular scissors at all. <laughs> Meant so to cut really carbon need, fiber and Yeah, you really need um You really need the, the good scissors. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to get another pair of gloves on. And then I'm going to put the peel ply on. Peel ply is the last layer for a hand layup. Uh, it, should, it should help everything stick down and be nice and uh, uniform and smooth. Although that looks really good. Honestly, that looks super good. We'll go over with the brush a couple more times, really make sure she's laying nice, and then I'll get that peel ply on there. And hopefully, in about six hours, we'll have something drying nice and looking pretty good. And how many mold pieces was that? This was five. Five? So, like, is it 24 hours each piece? No, probably 16 hours. Um, mm -hmm. These pieces were a little less because they're smaller. But it was, yeah, it was probably, it was probably a good, I would say the average is about 16 hours. Um, and this is a 1.8 meter? What is the distance? Oh, this is a, can you, uh, let's leave it, it's fine. Um, yeah, this is like one point. No, this is like 1.2. Oh, okay. This isn't even 1.8. This is a very little one. Yeah, this came out really good. You think that weight enough makes a difference? Um, yeah. Seems to be holding pretty much better on the sides here. So. Up on the edge, yeah. Yeah. I don't even know where this is coming from. I'm sure it's just the fibers. Okay, so yeah, this is looking really good. I think we're just going to leave it like this. I'm going to put the peel ply on. And I'll probably come back in an hour when it starts to uh, when it starts to harden up. Make sure that the nose and I notice this tail piece keeps coming out. So and that But the peel work. ply should help that. That's the idea. That is the idea. That's the idea behind it. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Okay, now here's your peel ply. This has got the tracers on it so that you can kind of see if anything is when you're taking it out of the mold, you can look at it and see if it's see if the uh, see if any of the pieces are left in the mold. You don't want to leave any of this in the mold in your casting. So this supposedly helps keep everything down. Mm.
Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. How long can you manipulate the product and up till uh, it's dried? I would say it starts curing and it's it's very uh, accurate at an hour. It starts curing at an hour. Um, we can actually do an experiment too. We can come. Oh shit! I got it on my hands. But we can come in and I'll show you this in an hour. In an hour, and you'll kind of see. It'll be. It'll be a different color. It'll be hot, and it it starts at an hour curing. So. Okay. 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 All right. So stay tuned, and um, we'll come back once we, once this is uh, starting to cure a little bit. We'll come back and um, we'll keep you posted on what it looks like. I might even cut some of the edges off because at about five or six hours, you can cut it right at the edge. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, and then stay tuned. We'll get to this. Uh, so hopefully, this layup she goes is. okay. Came out really good. See? This is the mold after I cut it. Tried to keep most of it. I tried to use a razor blade and cut it off. Here's how it came out. I mean, you can see. I mean, there's a little bit up here where my mold on the front was a little rough. But, I mean, look at how nice that is. Um, it came out super strong. Like, right here is pretty strong. I mean, there's no formers in there. But man, this carbon is not moving. And it looks great, as you can see. So that's how I prepare my molds. That's how I'm going to do my big one. I'll probably do another video um, on how I do the, how I prepare the bigger one. But there she is. I mean, and it's here. I'm going to back off and you can see what it looks like. I mean, it looks really good. And that's my first time ever doing um, fiberglass. And the carbon is really nice. I mean, but you can see it came out really good. So, you know, I could have sanded my mold a little more. And then this would have been even shinier. It would have been even more nice. But there it is. Okay, that's how I'm doing all my molds. That's the supplies I use. If you guys have any questions, uh you know, just put it down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And stay tuned for the build of the big one, the big A350, when I get that thing started. Thanks for watching.